What's up, y'all? Welcome back to our channel. It's your girl, the Thrifting Twins, and we are back with a new video. Welcome back to our channel, y'all. This time we are styling all types of thrifted finds. There's really no category in this video. We just found some banging ass shit in a thrifting store. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna style them up for you because we know y'all like how we style our clothes up in our previous videos. If you haven't checked out our previous videos, please go back to our channel and look at our old videos. We do things from styling thrifted skirts, mitts, accessories, pants, dresses, blazers, all of the things. We done already did those things and now we just doing randoms. Yes, yeah, so make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're gonna keep this thing going and now we're gonna talk about our, I guess our thrifted haul and how we styled it. So in this particular video, like she said, is a mashup of things, There's no particular thing. Some have multiple thrifted items and mm -hmm. some just maybe just once did the items that was really, really special. And we just paired it with things we had in our closet, sort of a mix up of those things. But we really want to highlight some of these thrifted special pieces that we found. So I'm going to be the first one to start because I'm really excited about this piece I found out. If you're thrifted, then you know you done probably thrifted something from Casper with a K. It's yeah. pretty, it's pretty infamous in uh, thrifting uh, stores. Stomping grounds, yeah. Right, so you done thrifted something from Casper, but I got my piece here, and this is giving me all the vibes, honey. All the vintage vibes. All right, so this, like I said, you done thrifted something like this. But to me, this gave me all the Gucci vibes. This might as well be Gucci up here, because mm -hmm. this is giving me, from their latest, what we watched there, fall? We done watched the fall. Fall, winter, 21, and then also the spring, summer, 22. But our favorite one is that fall, winter, where they're coming through just sort of like all white inside area, and then they have this whole garden party mm -hmm. afterwards. Yes. But the style in that is immaculate. If you need style tips, go watch that Gucci Fall 2002, 2002, Fall. I just throw some clips of that shit. Yeah, because it was fire. amazing. They were giving this equestrian look. And you know, Gucci does the vintage Gordy Bobs down. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking Gucci inspired with this. Throw on the prints, throw on the layers. And so let me just get into the jacket before I get into how I style this jacket. So this, I believe, is not a jacket. I believe this is a coat dress. It has like a, hmm, how can I show? Where's that string at? Where's the string? Okay, if you look in here, there's a string here that ties, where the hell is that? Okay, that ties to the other string. So these strings tie together and it's double breasted. Okay, now this is missing a button, but I have the button right here in the pocket. I'll just have to sew that back on. But it's giving you the lapel, it's giving you the little, Pocket, <laughs> I got mm -hmm. a pocket, but that all came with the blazer. And this is one of our, uh, remember we told you about blazers for $3? This was one of them, just maybe. Maybe this was $7, I wanna say, but less than $10 for this particular piece in this long. It comes about mid-calf to me, and I love the greens, the purples, of course, the plaid. Yes, the colors. I wanted to mix friends and give you that Gucci vibe, so I got this skirt, where's that skirt from, Nasty Gal? I got a skirt from Nasty Gal, and it's giving, again, Gucci vibes, Prince. That 70s, like, that Gucci that seven, like to go to. Right, that Gucci 70s look. So print it with this because it has the pops of purple, the pops of pink, and uh, so on and so forth. I thought it just looked so cute with this. Then add another print on top of this print and the skirt print. I added a sort of like a pinstripe, a button down shirt. It has sort of like a blue and white pinstripe feel to it. Just to add another print inside here and still give that Gucci vibe feeling yeah. to it, and uh, I just love how everything came together with the different prints, prints, I'm gonna say prints a thousand times, but yeah, I love this. I think that is a special find, getting to the buttons on the sleeves, really nice, comes long, it fits well, and I love it. I can't wait to, like we say, spin a block with this one because I wanna style this a different way, maybe with some pants, some plaid pants, or yes. wear it as a dress. But I love this piece. I'm so happy we found this. I feel like I'm lucky to have this Casper piece. It's gonna go down into, it's gonna go down as one of my favorite finds. Yes. So, that's an excellent find. Up next, I have my thrifted look and I'm actually wearing two items that are thrifted. I'm gonna show you the jacket. 
the blazer. Oh, yes, I love this yellow. It's very bright and on trend for right now, but it is a vintage blazer. It's actually a Leslie Faye. Y'all know y'all done thrifted a Leslie Faye. Beautiful vintage she makes. And I love the shortness of the cropness of this jacket. I like the lining, the trimming, I should say. The trimming that it gives on the outer part of the lapel and it has the buttons. You'll see the way I styled it. I styled it with these Till Vintage Levi pants. You've seen it in the previous video. We, we actually thrifted the lilac purple color. This, we also, at the same time, found these brand new attacks, yes. Till color. And they also um, wrinkle resistant, easy to wash, perfect fit. We love the fit of these. And I just thought that Till color with this bright yellow blazer, both thrifted items was really good fit. The shirt in between or the shirt that I'm wearing is the H&M shirt that we bought probably like this season or last season. Yeah, that moody fabric paired with the bright fabric on the dark, top. Yeah, yeah. the dark floor, floor, I should say moody or dark floral, I should say. Mm -hmm. With this bright yellow, a vibe. Yes, a I like the look. motorcycle style, kind of uh, motorcycle style. Of this jacket up. with the with the buttons on down. Mm -hmm. Thinking about enhancing it more with more buttons, just to add a little bit more flair to it. Yeah, a great find. Nice little jacket to throw on with many different things. All black, mixed prints, a lot of options. Oh, great find. Love that yellow blazer with those teal pants, both thrifted. There are two items that I really want to highlight now. I believe all of this thrifted besides the accessories. The top is thrifted, the vest is thrifted, the pants are thrifted, and the accessories are newly brought. I paired this vest right here. This is a Liz Claiborne vest. You always I love the fact Liz Claiborne is one of those go-to, get it if you see it in a thrift store. It's going to be great quality. People seem to take good care of Liz Claiborne, and it seems to hold up over time. So shout out to Liz Claiborne for such great quality. But this particular vest I like. I have a crop vest that's all black. But I wanted something a little longer if I want to do like a men's wear style. This is just a longer vest, as you can see. And I like the fact that it's a contrast in the back. There's this uh, pinstripe in the back. And then there's also this particular detail I like a lot. That little waist cinching detail in the back because it'll cinch you in so it's, it'll flare out if you like it. Or you could sort of draw it out so that can be, you know, a little oversized or sort of like men's wear. I got a men's thrifty shirt. It's just an oversized button down with this vest because it brought out the beige in the back. And then the pants. With this particular style, I wanted to show off these pants that I found in the men's section at the thrift store. I love the plaid and the pleating details. It's like a black and white plaid, but it comes off kind of gray. So these pants look great with the beige, the way I styled it with the uh, chain belt to sort of give it a little bit of feminine touch and a little bit of flair because sometimes like with these pants and the men's wear, it's a little bit dull. They don't have that feminine flair. So I wanted to add a little bit of that to this outfit, not totally go masculine. So I added the chain bell and then I have on the loafers. I think I have the loafers on with the chain detail, that silver shiny chain detail to play off one another. And I liked it. I like the way I styled this for a men's wear inspired styling. Mm -hmm. So those are about three pieces all together. The yeah. shirt, the vest and the pants are all thrifted. One whole outfit. I love it. Okay. And the final look for this thrift haul is this beautiful orange. Ooh, look at her. Let me step back so you can get into her. She's got like a pleated detail. She's a midi length with the option to draw her, you know, bring her up to make her shorter. This fabric is amazing. It's hard to tell what it is. Let me see if I can tell what it is. It's probably a polyester, right? For sure. But it's that just awesome oh, stretch to it. Amazing like stretch, stretch to it. Not only that, if you get into the detail, it has a rib knit that's going to not, you know, that's going to last and not get that peeling effect. Definitely. Very, very nice. And then nice, I love it wash nicely. Yes, and I love how they they varied on the ribbon. So if you can see close at the bottom, it's giving you like that pleated look, but a ribbon effect. Let me get closer so you can get the detail. Really, really cute. It's like this tangerine orange. So nice. And yeah, the way I styled this, thrifted, y'all. And I believe, that, I'm pretty sure this was maybe like under $10. $7, yeah. yeah. Very nice. You can tell it's going to last for a while. Him and everything is beautiful. No spots, no nothing. Damn near brand new with tags. If oh, it wasn't right. brand new. It didn't have tags. tags, but it was pretty brand new. Very, very new. Paired it with this jacket I found. Now, it doesn't look like a jacket anymore because I actually 
chopped the sleeves off and I added shoulder pads. Let me get into this jacket. This is a thrifted jacket, menswear, varsity jacket. I think somebody handmade this because it didn't have a tag. Uh, like customized patchwork. All these patches came with the jacket. The rib knit on the bottom is still in amazing condition and also at the neckline, still really good. The white is still really clean, no spots. The patches were good, it washed well. The fabric that it is is like that, um, what neoprene? Neoprene fabric. Ponte maybe, Ponte right. knit. So it washes well and it also has a structure to it. So it's not collapsing. Nice jacket, amazing find. I mean, when I seen it, it was no question. I was gonna get it and I love this jacket. The sleeves were a little big and that's why I wasn't really feeling the sleeves. The sleeves were also another color, a contrasting color, light gray. I can't tell what it originally was. They wasn't in good condition. Chopped them off. I love this jacket. I mean, you can put it on with so many things and it's gonna give you like a really great fashion style. You know, you look like you know what you're doing when you throw this on. Like you could throw it on with denim underneath. You could throw it on with tank. I mean, literally anywhere with this little, I guess it's a vest now. And you even paired it with a dress, which was cool. Yeah, and it was thrifted. I mean, this jacket was probably expensive. So if I made this jacket for somebody, I would charge I'm about three, four hundred dollars. Okay, I'm charging upwards of two fifty, three hundred dollars for this jacket. So to find this in a thrift store in great condition, a winner, baby. For sure, that's a okay. winner. Love this jacket. Period. Well, that's now. <laughs> yes. Right. Well, this video, that's pretty much it. Showing you guys what we found in the thrift store, how we styled it. More videos, of course, to come. Of course. And Let us know what you think of our video so far. If you're loving it, please just say it in the comment. Love this video. Drop some twins emojis in the comments if you're feeling our style and if you're feeling our setup, if you're feeling our vibe. So thank you guys for tuning in. We're trying to stay consistent and drop a video a week. We will stay consistent. That part. Also, guys, remember to follow us on Instagram. We are at the Drifting Twins, real simple. And give us a shout out on Instagram. Till next time. Peace.